All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, yeah, actually, was just busy uh, looking up some EverQuest guides, think and also thinking about the game, what to do next, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually trying to figure out what I'm going to do about the voice acting stuff, like how I want to recruit. So you know, I got a bunch of ideas. <clears throat> of course, I was also uh, just doing a little like, cleanup in my uh, idle RPG game, Firestone, which strangely enough, I had to like kick out people that just refuse to just do a little extra work and then find new people. It's like, oh yeah, it's no different from like finding actors or whatever. So it's like good training, you know, it's a, or rather it's good exercise, I guess you could say hiring exercises, if that makes sense. So anyway, I didn't really have a chance to do any real research. So I found a couple of headline articles I actually do want to read. So uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll just get right into it. Bitcoin searches for this week have actually been released very quickly. Well, actually, it's Wednesday, <laughs> so it's at 11. All right, so it didn't go down as much as I thought. Um, I just have to refresh this. I really hope this site's not having problems right now. Let me see. Ah, good, it's not. All right, excellent. Uh, and yes, Google has actually been able to uh, index this whole site. So, I mean, the type pages have actually been already been generated. It's just uh, this little widget thing, so... All is very good. Bitcoin now is at 56.41%. 24 hour volume is basically 83 billion. Uh, coin market, no, this has to be yesterday's, right? Yeah. Coin market cap says it's 139.3 billion. So there's a massive difference between the two. They're also listing a lot more cryptocurrencies here. Um, believe it or not, I should actually submit my coin to coin market cap because they've actually been uh, introducing other coins, I guess. Bitcoin's at 10,230, uh, so that's good. Litecoin's at 4787. So, yeah, I think I said it yesterday, but yeah, we should be ex uh, to expect a flat line. That's what I'm looking for in a correction. So, um, in this case, it's flat line, so that's good. The markets are going up. Because uh, I did not mention this yesterday, but I keep forgetting to mention it. It doesn't go straight up or straight down, it goes, all, it goes in one direction very hard and then it bounces up or down. In this case, it bounces back up before going back down again. Now, I would prefer that it would just simply just keep going back up, flatline, and then go back up, or however it wants to do it. So, can't really tell, but, I mean, it's been three days of, like, just completely hammering the stocks. So, if, this re if today's rebound isn't that much, I might actually think that tomorrow will probably be another bloodbath. Because I don't actually, again, I don't see anything different, uh, fundamentally. And they say they're going to put the vaccine trial on hold, as one of the companies is. And then the Senate is meeting this week to do the uh, the second stimulus package, and then next week the House reconvenes because they're still on vacation or recess, All right? And they're gonna ha they have until the end of September to get something done because in they're taking October off, obviously, to do the election shit. So that and that seems and that uh, and I read that off of Forbes. So that seems to be a mutually agreed thing, or some other finance site. I can't remember. It was off stream, obviously. So, uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting because the Republicans are completely on board just giving away free money, all right? So the Democrats won't be able to pull the, uh, well, the Republicans are the reason why you're not getting free money. It's like, no, they've been screaming that they want to give us free money and that, like, you assholes don't want to give it to us. Uh, so, you know, now the Republicans commit suicide and say, oh, yeah, we're not going to guarantee that everyone's going to get the 1200 bucks, but... I can't, but I think just about everybody in Congress, it's just like, yeah, we got to give people free money. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it'll be nice to get another extra 1200 bucks. You know, that'll slow things down. I also noticed my landlord sent me my lease like th two, two, three months early, which is ridiculous, which is unusually fast. So they must be getting desperate for money. Uh, they don't even send the cleaning guy out uh, like they usually do, which is great because I don't like the smell. But, you yeah. know. Anyway, JFC Coy continues to reel like all the other cryptos from this current, uh, you know, stupid, uh, I guess, correction or whatever the hell it is. Um, JMC's at four to five. Because uh, well, I can actually use this uh, crypto as a proxy for what's going to happen in the equity markets because now they're basically correlated. So this so far is telling me uh, there's definitely potential for more drops. Uh, however, people really do want Bitcoin at 10k apparently, so at least got that going for us. Um, 
I don't know, but like, there's just nothing new fundamentally, news-wise, so we'll have to see. 404 Koi's doing okay. It's at like 59 to 68, I guess. So it's got like a massive range. Because uh, the main problem is trade volume is just really bad right now. It's getting better, but it's still really bad. Uh, two by two is at six to seven, so no surprise there. Rex is at twenty one to twenty three. I feel sorry for the retard idiots that bought up to like eight hundred. Yeah, is that eight hundred? Yeah, eight hundred satoshis. I was like, yeah, I don't see anything different. So, all right, whatever. Well, these people will come into one hundred coin and speed coin because that's I because that's what I designed it for. All right, stability. Um, so the real price is around one six or. 16 to 18.8 satoshis of a bitcoin um these big numbers are actually me creating fake trade volume which i don't like doing uh but because the but i realized that if i did a little bit of fake trade volume it'll push up the rankings if people sort by volume on cracks so you know and i did have noticed that i think it might be working but i don't know um well it definitely doesn't seem to hurt it doesn't cost me that much so Either I could buy like 20, 30k Satoshis of a advertising on AADs, which probably doesn't do anything, or I could just simply have cheaper quote unquote advertising by being higher listed on the Crex rankings for the day. So, you know, yeah, it's actually pretty cheap too. So, yeah, so we'll see how that is. Um, I'm still waiting for my speed coin to come over here to do the same thing. Uh, though it doesn't need it as much because the price is because the volume is still like it's still crap but at least the prices are still good uh, but I, I want this thing to go back up too, like everything else so I'll probably do the same thing with speed coin once I get my coins which sucks because now I'm not making income from speed or 100 coin because obviously I'm you know I'm trying to make the price uh, recover right with during a correction Right, it's, it's 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 the equivalent of trying to push a boulder up uh, up a hill. Uh, but what are you gonna do, right? Um, all right, hold on. Guess I should uh, punch some of these things. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much. Uh, hold on, it's a, I'm actually playing my uh, idle RPG stuff. <laughs> Gotta make because my character is now dying because it needs to it needs to buy some upgrades. All right, anyway. Um, but yeah, speed coins at 114 to I guess 159 satoshis of a Bitcoin. What irritates me is Black Coin and Bitbean are still price stable, like it hasn't changed. But these prices are like completely uh, like just don't keep. Likes to keep. Oh yeah, I don't have favorites here. Likes to keep going now, and it's just so frustrating, right? Because this thing is at least as good as those coins, but yeah, it's performing so much more crappier. It, it it's just irritating. You know, um, but you know, I have, I have, I have like con some content websites that will be feeding us traffic. But the problem is, it'll take forever to get indexed. It'll take forever to get you know page and domain authority and SEO and all that other stupid stuff. And then, um, I don't know. It, it's like it, it's like the old days. The only difference is. I'm not spamming backlinks at all. In fact, I'm getting like just the absolute minimum and I just never want to touch them again so uh, so at least this time you know Google is because because I know for a fact I could get free traffic I just never figured out how to do it uh, you know in a large-scale way so now you know it's time to you know now that I'm a different person you know now I'm trying something different so I don't know we'll, we'll use that as feeder sites because it's like okay you know I'm spending so much on marketing it I might as well just you know just do it for free because Tesla doesn't advertise. Amazon doesn't advertise. Uh, Microsoft does advertise. Um, nah, I don't know. Those are the big issues. Those are the big ones. But other, but a lot of companies don't advertise, and they still get free marketing. You know, because they have really good products. You know, and they have really good content. So you know, that's what I'm thinking. I need to be doing right because my game that's coming out will actually because I've been doing the flow chart for it. And I realized, yeah, it's actually pretty important to get the game out because it's basically a free marketing engine for me, or at least it leverages it significantly for me, right? So as long as I keep creating, you know, good content, which in this case would be the video game and everything else that I'm doing, people will just simply spread the word for me, and then I don't have to worry about advertising at that point. So uh, yeah, and then of course, you know, everything will. And I realized what I should do is create some sort of like marketing loop. 
All right. So once people get inside the loop, they'll just be going, it's like going from point A to point B to C to D and then back to A and then, you know, whatever. And then I bring other people, other properties in like the speed coin, 100 coin. Also the plug into that closed system and the people will just be auto marketing everything from it. It's great. So, yeah. But in the meantime, uh, more short term pain, but it's doing better, right? You know, because these are the actual real buys. I don't know who's buying this stuff, but glad someone is. But it's still pretty low. Um, so I'm actually expecting, I mean, hopefully there'll be a flat line, but so far it's actually just looking like it's just a, 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 a they call it a dead cat bounce or whatever, but I'm definitely expecting for prices to continue crashing. I hope that it doesn't, all right? And so far, crypto prices have refused to crash, so that's a possible good sign for the markets. Um, we'll know for sure if tomorrow, which was Thursday, markets just simply flatline. Uh, also, if we have news about a stimulus package from the Senate and it's looking pretty good, that will also help a lot. Uh, thank you to the one person that subscribed, by the way. The dude was like got a Russian name, so welcome, welcome. Using second, oh yeah, I'm pro actually I did refresh this already, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, it thinks I'm in, oh, shit, it thinks, oh, damn, it thinks I'm in Brazil. Um, yeah, uh, oh god, this is so annoying. Bitcoin USA. Alright, the problem is it's going to return everything that has the word USA in it. Um, oh, let's see, the USA officially approves the trade of Bitcoin. Okay, that's not it. Oh, great. Oh, it thinks I'm in Argentina. That's hilarious. Let me see if I can change. I gotta figure out how to change the location here. Oh, man. This is very irritating. I didn't do this before. I don't want to disconnect. I can't disconnect the thing. Um, I don't know. How can I... Oh, God. This is so irritating. You know what? Bing is not a very good search engine compared to Google, so maybe it'll know not to... Maybe they don't have the technology to do this yet, which is hilarious. All right, news. Ah, shit. Bill Gates did create that. Ah, god damn it. All right. Let's see. Bitcoin news in America. How about this? My Americans turn Bitcoin's local fiat currency. Uh, Papa shoulders of at least perhaps is three million. This is look at the things here. Ah, oh, God, this is so bad. Actually, you know what? Coin Desk and Coin Coin Telegraph are pretty good. All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to use a different site. Um, no. Uh, and this is why. All right. High severity buggy Bitcoin seller. No. Uh, what? Okay, Bitcoin's correlation goal hits record high. Bitcoin asking the parallel worlds. Uh, I really don't want to do Forbes, but I might have to do Forbes as well. Uh, at New York Attorney General asked court for new order to make Bitfinex turn over Tether loan documents. Yeah, I really hate our Attorney General. She's like a huge fucking cunt. Um, Forbes. Hmm, actually, right. Let me see, what do we have here? They have a search function here. Uh, Bitcoin. All right, let's see. Huh, this is horrible. Oh man, I really need my Google News. Is this uh, Cointelegraph.com? All right. Uh, Digital currency could require cryptocurrency. You can't find a single price skill of stealing 360k and fake Bitcoin. And maybe stock may push Bitcoin at 10 points, says Trader. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Crypto exchange, let's zone to on Ugandan platform. Hmm. Well, Uganda's got something going on for central bank currencies or no hedge for inflation. Oh, well, that's just dumb. I have to admit. Coin Telegraph does have like the best thumbnails. I have to admit, where do they get these thumbnails from? Like these are really high quality uh, thumbnails. Okay. 
Yeah, look at the quality of these. Wow. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. Forget coin to uh coin desk. Why don't we use coin telegraph? Uh blah 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 blah. Uh crypto star flare only kind of brings smart contracts, sex of races, bitcoin loan. Okay. Uh alright. Oh my god, these are just terrible articles. I don't even want to bother. Um yeah, people are still lying on the polls, but Trump's doing pretty well. He's actually been hammering just about everything like he could possibly do. Uh, by Norwegian official signing Israel UAE peace deal. Um, actually, this will throw a nice little wrench on here. All right, Jews don't like it when uh, you attack them. So uh, on the one hand, a lot of them hate Trump, but on the flip side, it's like you want to attack Trump for something like this. Well, you'll be attacking the Jews, and then the Jews aren't going to like that as a community. So it's like, oh man, you know who. Who, 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 who do I hate more? What, do, what, what am I more worried about? So, um, yeah. Personally, I really don't care about this. And in fact, I really just don't like that we're, you know, like America is burning, but yet, I guess technically we should be helping other people out there, but it, it just kind of just irritates me to know that America is not coming first, right? When it obviously should be coming first. So, right, let's do that. Let's do more of these. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, this is actually pretty good, though. Trump does end wars. All right. He broke, like, Trump is the first president in 39 years to not start a new war. All right. Uh, Trish Ria. I thought she left Fox. Uh, host of the Trish Intel. She did leave Fox. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like Trish. The only problem is, like, she, like, went against the Groypers and Nick Fuentes, and I don't like that, so. Uh, yeah, she's a real babe, too, Lauren, whatever her name is. I think she's married, though, right? Hmm, maybe. Uh, Matt Couch, can I rise to Oh, yeah, I think this guy does actually follow me on, on, uh, Twitter. Obviously, I'm not logged in, so yeah. But Trump's been doing a good job pointing out Black Lives Matter as uh, you know doing a terrorist shit as they usually do, uh, riots, you know, left wing violence and all that stuff. So pretty good, pretty good. And this Nobel Peace Prize should be uh, pretty good for the cognitive dissonance too. So oh, of course, BLM is also rioting and harassing just normal people in swing states and like screwing up their dining tables and stuff. And the media has lost total control of everything, so, uh, yeah, that's going to, <laughs> yeah, people are going to be voting uh, Republican much more likely than they normally would, so that's good. And they also came out of a poll that said Hispanics in Florida are now actually plus 2 to 5% uh, voting for favor of Trump, because they're getting sick and tired of this shit, too. And on top of that, Hispanics and blacks usually have always butted heads, too, so, which is funny because if Hispanics get enough uh, tanning from the sun they look black too right so <laughs> so it's always uh, so maybe that's actually why because the Hispanics get tans and then the cops stop them for no reason and they think why are you harassing me and they're like oh we thought you were a black criminal and then they let him go so maybe that's actually another that's probably actually a really big uh, source of tension too right because you know, because I didn't realize that I also kind of look somewhat like illegal immigrants because a lot of illegal immigrants are actually has dark skin and spags, but they also look Asian, too. And cops can't tell the difference because, honestly, cops in general are pretty dumb. So that's why I always get dirty looks from, like, the NYPD here, which kind of pisses me off. Except the non-white cops here in New York City. They usually just have no problem with me. So so that's that's nice. So it's like, oh, I can't stand, I can't stand this shit, you know? Uh, anyway, I mean, we don't have anything for... Oh, man, I really want to do at least one Bitcoin article, but I just don't see anything here. Um, but again, yeah, I mean, we're just going to... Yeah, I don't, I don't want... To... Okay, you know what? Maybe this MasterCard thing we could read. Demand is coming back quicker than we thought. All right, I'm really just interested in the, uh, the demand part. Actually, you know, it varies across the globe. Okay, we're seeing China come back as well, the U.S., North America in general, a little faster than we thought, so that's good. 
uh, yeah, so fundamentally things are coming, uh, are getting better. Six and Hammer also has said things are getting better too. Uh, let's see, but sales are down. Singer so uh, Auto Blah points out. What? That's funny. There's actually a thing that's called Auto Blah. Oh, yeah. So, because one of the content sites I'm doing is something similar to this. Yeah, Google is one of the uh, thingamajig this, too. They do have a little extra other stuff, though. This is a really nice dual design site, too. Uh, Schroeder are up as they pull back on incentives. Uh, show we can balance in the near turn. I'll let the audience like your channel having challenges fall as dealers battle with low inventories caused by plant shutdowns. Uh, our initial take in oil market recovery. There are headwinds back in blah 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 blah. Okay, so things are getting better, but it's not obviously at peak capacity. All right. Walmart to test drone delivery of grocery household items. Yeah, Amazon wanted to do drones, but then they had to scrap it. Uh, and then the local officials got pissed off too. It's going to run a project for delivery of grocery and household products through automated drones along with NN delivery firm Flytrex. It's used for the tail looks up to the So they would test with, on Wednesday in Fairfield, North Carolina, with cloud controlled drones picking up and dropping off select items. We know, so, we know that it will be sometime before we see millions of packages delivered via drone. That still feels like science fiction. Uh. I forgot how to do their doorsteps. Well, I said you had to do The thing I don't like is drones are big, loud, and noisy, and then those rotate those rotators are really dangerous, especially for kids or dogs. So, um, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not really sure how they're gonna do that. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't like that. Because if I walk out the apartment and there's a fucking drone in front of me as I walk out the building, I'm, I'm going to get really pissed, especially if it hits me. Something, when I go to the, take out the trash, right, there's a big fence in front of me, but it's also the sidewalk right there. Sometimes, it would, not often, but sometimes like really fast bikers just don't, we don't see each other and the guy almost can hit me, right? And, and like, I don't like that, obviously. Um, drone... Drone delivery. Oh, great. It's probably gonna give me uh, on-demand drone delivery pie, but it might be for yeah. Okay. Actually, because the only reason I read this, I really don't want these drones like in my face. The retail announced the launch of on-demand drone delivery. Blog post I said. So the pilots on delivering select grocery and household essential items from all the store using fly automated drones, which is cool. Uh, oh yeah, oh, sorry, I'm scared. we know that we send for we see uh, so okay. The FF okay, so the FAA has approved Amazon's Prime Air Service will use drones to deliver packages. Capable of delivering packages up to five pounds in thirty minutes or less, drone code code sense and avoid to ensure the drones operate safely. Issue uh, part one thirty five air care certificate using unmanned aircraft to analyze issue similar to the wing aviation specific Google parent. Okay. Oh, so UPS is doing drones too. All of us are by drone. Hmm. So are they actually gonna send drone? Well, here's the thing. We I live in an apartment building. I still have a lot of people. So like, how does a drone really work that well? I mean, I'm thinking like maybe they can send drones to like, like, uh, to like outposts and stuff, and that's and that's where all they'll do it. And then there'll be someone who you know picks up the package from the outpost and then drives it, you know, a couple blocks to wherever you live or something. Like that would probably work because you know you because you because again, I don't want to see drones on the sidewalk. Like that would actually really piss me off, and it it probably would piss off pretty much everyone else too. Right? A sidewalk is meant for people. I already don't like it that people use it, bikers use it to ride their bikes on this damn sidewalk. All right? Usually because at least half of them just want to go at like maximum speed. It's like, you know, it's really narrow. Can you like not go that freaking fast? Uh, okay. All right. Well, it looks like the FAA has already uh, approved this stuff. So, hmm. okay. Oh, we'll have to see. 
MasterCard launches virtual testing environment for central bank currencies. Is MasterCard going to show some of the folly of their ways? Announced on Wednesday, release of a proprietary tool targeted at central banks in which to test their CBDC. 70% of central banks are entering the idea of digital currency. That includes America. Okay, with blah, 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 blah. the tool uh, simulates various types of transaction environments to select central bank and validate the magic all for partners use the platform to validate the effectiveness of. Okay, curious about how the virtual status of how a CBC can be used by consumer pay for goods or anywhere MasterCard is accepted around the world. Okay, some designs are focusing only on institutional money transfers. MasterCard is going to do both. Okay. Uh, Alright, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read the details. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. MasterCard's going to... Alright. I gotta admit, this is actually kind of really nice. The uh, new... The new... Um, whatchamacallit? The new thumbnail. So I guess we'll have to get used to this instead of using uh, Google News. Because uh, I like how Google News curates a bunch of stuff. You know, from around the internet. So but, yeah, that's just how it goes. If you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, the subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So continue growing this channel. Um, so yeah, uh, done for the day. Uh, I actually have some more work to do. Um, I'm kind of thinking, I mean, I really should do some programming today, but I'm still thinking about conceptually the game and how it fits into my overall strategy. So... Hmm. I don't know, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, but the next thing I'm working on, according to my sticky notes, is fiddle with the volume in SFX. Yes, there's an easy, there, I just want to try to implement volume control, a very basic one. So, you know, luckily because Tower Defense is a very simple game, and, I, and you know, I'm going to start revealing a little bit of it, because, you know, I need to hire some voice actors, and possibly have voice actors too. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, um... Oh yeah, I also want, I really think I do want to commission a music too. At least one piece of really good music. Oh well, I have things to think about. Anyway, uh, but yes, that cost me 240 bucks, so, you know, I'm willing to spend the money, but, I mean, you know, right now income's a little tight, so, yeah. Anyway, see you all tomorrow, thanks for watching, and uh, always remember, uh, Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, uh, Speed Coin, in fact, did anyone even come to these? Or do I have to start bumping these threads now? Oh, I gotta start bumping these threads. Uh, yeah, so I'm expect I'm not expecting too much. However, it depends on what's gonna happen with today. It's, if it recovers all of yesterday's losses, then I think we'll be okay. Uh, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin crypto has stabilized and are flatlining, so that's a good sign. Uh, we're not quite out of there yet, but there's still definitely a good chance of uh, you know things will go back up after this really brief correction. Because correction is always brief, but I just don't want it to be there in the first place. Because you know whatever's causing everybody to pull all their money back, I need their money to come back into the markets. All right, it's affecting literally everything you know here. And it's just so annoying. Um, uh, yeah, more people are getting into blockchain, so like Mastercard. So yeah, it's all it's it's inevitable, right? But it needs to happen sooner.